Good afternoon. I'm Tamika Tilleman. I'm the founder and director of the Blockchain Trust Accelerator at New America. And I want to ask you a fundamental question, a pretty profound question, which is why do human beings run the earth? If you look around, it could be jellyfish, it could be orangutans, it could be any number of animals. And one of my favorite historians, Yuval Hariri, asks this question and he comes up with an answer. We are the only species that knows how to cooperate flexibly at scale. And the way we do that is important. We come to an agreement around a common set of facts, we establish trust in those facts, and then we go out and exchange and collaborate on the basis of that information. That ability, the ability to collaborate flexibly at scale, underlies everything we do. It is our superpower as a species. It's what enables us to build civilizations and cities and put on great conferences like the World Economic Forum. But without that, we really don't have an advantage over many of the other animals on this planet. So the question that follows from this is how do we cooperate flexibly at scale? Historically, we have been dependent on institutions, financial institutions and government institutions to curate the information that makes up the base layer of our reality. And then based on our confidence in the information that is safeguarded by those institutions, we go out and we build companies and we build our lives and we build governments but it is dependent on our shared collective confidence in the information that these institutions store. Unfortunately, we are, and these institutions, are facing a crisis of confidence. If you look at data from Edelman's Trust Barometer, 85% of people around the world feel that the institutions in their country, the systems in their country, aren't working on their behalf. They're not making it up. They're not imagining things. If you look in the United States, every year, by their own admission, our Treasury Department makes $144 billion in improper payments. Let that sink in. Even by the standards of Washington dysfunction, that is a very large number. $144 billion in missed payments. Against that backdrop, we have a new tool that has emerged, blockchain technology that has the potential to help us accelerate trust, increase trust in many environments where trust is a fleeting commodity. We're already seeing that transformation take place. At the Blockchain Trust Accelerator at New America, we've been involved together with our technical partner, Bitfury, in establishing the world's first blockchain-based land registry in the Republic of Georgia. Previously, if you had a nice piece of property by the lake and I wanted it and my cousin worked for the land registry, I could go to my cousin, they would transfer the title of that property over to me and because the registry controlled the record, there was nothing you could do about it. We are now building blockchain-based systems that make it impossible for corrupt officials, even when they have full access to a system, to compromise the information within that system. More recently, in November, we helped stand up the first use of blockchain-based mobile voting in a U.S. election in the state of West Virginia. A serviceman or woman on a hillside in Afghanistan or a sailor on a submarine under the Arctic ice cap was able to send their vote back to their county clerk securely and know that it was going to count in a way that they would never have been able to previously. Most recently, we've launched a new partnership with the Rockefeller Foundation to work with governments around the world to build modular, interoperable platforms to solve the challenges facing our institutions and create an interoperable government operating system to help meet the challenges of the 21st century. This work isn't going to be easy, it's not going to be fast, but together, we can help address the crisis of confidence that is affecting institutions around the world. So let me conclude where I began. Why is it that we are in charge? Why is it that we are able to do what we do as a species? The answer is trust. And as we work together at the Blockchain Trust Accelerator and with many of your organizations, we're going to be able to solve that crisis and write a new chapter in the story of human cooperation.